Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're going to be taking a look and installing Empire Faucet's dual knob chrome faucet in our RV. Now we're replacing an older one that needed a little bit of love aesthetically, but if you have one that's not functioning properly or you just want to update the look, this is a great option and installation's extremely easy. I'm going to walk you through that. So here's our old faucet. So if yours looks similar to this with the two little hookup designs here, it's going to work great for that. Now what's awesome about this faucet that we've installed is this plastic here is actually brass on this. So you're really doing an upgrade as far as a stronger component. Also included is the gaskets and the hardware to put it in. There's no tools required except for your hands and it's very easy and adds a nice touch instantly to the camper. Some nice features is this is a quarter turn cartridge, so pretty easy to get full power and also not using a washer style cartridge. It's actually going to prolong the life of the faucet itself. This is a 2.2 gallon per minute flow, so a good amount there. And we also have an aerator here, which is going to aerate the water, making cleanup nice and easy. The installation is very simple. You don't need to be a plumber to be able to do this. And I'm gonna walk you through the installation so you can get your faucet installed on your camper. To begin our installation, the first step is obviously make sure it's not hooked up to water. You're also gonna to wanna to open these up just to kind of drain any residual. And that's just gonna save you a lot of water coming out and having to catch it underneath when you remove this. Now you're going to see a standard RV has very simple plumbing here and it's just twist on to the faucet itself. So there's really no need for pipe wrenches or anything that you're used to with your home plumbing. Now there probably is going to be residual water so I highly recommend having towels, some paper towels or a bucket, some way to collect this water. That way it doesn't ruin the wood. But with a simple twist, we can undo our one line and as you can see there's our residual so I'm gonna throw a few towels down just kind of catch that and we have one unhooked now we're just gonna repeat that process and just like that we're unhooked so now that we have our water disconnected, all we have to do is loosen these up. And these are gonna be tucked up there a decent amount. Just reach up, similar thing, just counterclockwise twist these. And this is actually going to separate the faucet from the sink fixture. So now with these removed, really all that's left is to pull the faucet out. And this is also going to be a good time to do a little bit of cleaning here before you put your new one on. So maybe a little alcohol or some soap and water should bring this pretty up pretty easily. It's already coming up. And having a nice clean surface is going to make sure that it seals up better. Now installation is going to be just as easy as it was taking it out. So now that it's nice and clean, this is simply going to just slip in here. Now, included in the kit are going to be these little rubber gaskets here, and you're going to want to face the flat part. It's got a ribbed edge. The ribbed edge is going to go up, and that's going to kind of seat up against it. And as we tighten it down with these new clamps here, that should put it up in place. Very nice. So, let's slip these on. So, we're simply going to slip on our rubber here. If I can find it. There we are. And again, make sure that ribbed edge is going up. And then you can kind of just hand tighten this one on. Make sure you're not cross there. Should go on pretty easy there. And put the other one on. And if you've done home plumbing before, this is really nice because there's no thread tape involved. There's no plumber's putty. Just simple hand twist. You don't even need any tools. You don't really need to over tighten it, just enough pressure to hold that in place. You're also going to want to check the faucet itself, make sure it's aligned properly before completely tightening it down. You're also going to want to check the faucet up top to make sure that it's lined up properly. And that way, when you crank it down, it's going to be seated and not crooked. 
Now we're just going to attach our water hoses. Make sure that your threads are lined up properly. So now all that's left to do is hook up to water and test it. Now I recommend having someone inside, maybe with their phone ready, and that way when you're turning the water on, if there is a leak and you need to fix that, you're not flooding your camper. In the meantime, you can shut it off quickly, but this should be a pretty easy install for you and it's going to add a nice touch to your camper, whether you're upgrading or replacing. With everything hooked up, let's go ahead and test it. Working great. And that's going to do it for a look and install of the Empire Faucets RV Dual Knob Chrome Faucet. Thanks for watching.